Heart of the Reich, the most requested level for the most requested game to make a guide for. For the most requested website. No. Ah, oh, damn it. I think we had record traffic last weekend, though. I don't know if you saw. And um, we do need to get our unique visitors per day up. So if you could just make our site <laughs> homepage <laughs> and then navigate away from it every day. Yes. That would be awesome. Yes, that would be nice. Anyway. Um, yeah, so this is... <clears throat> The most requested level, or the most emailed about level, and honestly, didn't think it was that hard. Um, yeah, there have been harder. There have been harder. There are harder levels in this game. Okay. Um, the one through the trenches I thought was harder. The one uh, through the tunnels uh, in the mountains I think was harder. So anyway, just run up here. You're going to get a checkpoint in a second, so just keep sprinting as far as you can. Try to get a checkpoint in a, a good spot, like right there. And you're going to want to run up to the left on the building, just ignoring pretty much everybody. Don't worry about shooting anybody quite yet. Going to run to the side. And then you can mow down a couple of the Germans who are on the side. And one or two might run out of the building as well. But if you run straight forward and kind of up to the area between the two buildings, what's the, what, what's the word I'm looking for? What's the word I'm looking for? Um, the alley? The alley, yes. Why can't I think of that? So if you just kind of look around that corner, you'll get a checkpoint. And, uh, and then you can uh, edit your video because you died after that checkpoint. Right. Well... Every video gets edited. It's just a fucking fact that I'm not perfect, Dude, and I have to so edit out deaths. You're so good at games. You, I never see you die in these walkthroughs. I know it's amazing, isn't it? It's because I edit out the deaths. <laughs> Sorry for spoiling that image. If you actually thought I didn't, there die. is no Santa. Oh there my no... god, you bastard! So there's gonna be a couple guys up top, but they're most likely directly above you right now. So you don't have to worry about them quite yet. But instead of going down that alley, come back into this building, kill the guys in here. Um, and if you find one of the, the cars, or cart, I don't remember exactly, the bolt-action German rifle, pick it up, and you're going to be using it a lot through this level. Um, make sure there's no guys up top. You might need to jump and shoot them. And then move forward through the building, and you're going to be moving into that other building. There's going to be two guys uh, down that hall to the right where I'm looking. They Sometimes they'll run by and you can shoot them. Oh, and you got to make sure that you kill everybody up top because I missed someone there. All right. All right, all right, all right, so all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, the last half, or the second half of this video and the second video of this are the hard part. Okay. You're outside and there's shitloads of grenades. And by shitloads, I mean... Um, who does that song, It's Raining Men? <laughs> I couldn't tell you. If she remixed it to say it's raining grenades, mm -hmm. they could put that over this entire level and it would feel alright. Mm -hmm. Probably be awesome. It's raining grenades. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Well, except you wouldn't want to say hallelujah. You'd be like, God damn it, it's raining grenades. <laughs> God damn it, it's <laughs> raining grenades. God damn it. So you're in the library right now. Uh, <laughs> I, someone was talking shit on me that I can't pronounce stuff. Really? Because of the Simpsons quote. He's like, foliage? Come on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, that was pretty funny. But that that was intentional, uh, viewer. If, we, we if do, you made that particular comment. We do know how to pronounce library. Library. <laughs> and foliage. Foliage? Foliage. Foliage. So, you're going to keep moving through these bookshelves, and off to the right, there's not going to be anybody. So that's a good place that you're going to need to run to in a second. Um, but there will be no, another guys, another couple guys around the corner. Toss a grenade or two in there if you can. Now, I didn't think of this before, but theoretically, if you toss a Molotov cocktail in a library, 
the whole thing should go up in flames. And so these are the books the Germans haven't burned yet? Or this is, is their private um, collection. 17,000 copies of Mein Kampf. <laughs> okay. And you're going to need to get good at picking up grenades and using them to your advantage and throwing them right back at the Nazis. Not only did Hitler almost exterminate a race of people, but he mm -hmm. made a certain way of wearing a mustache completely unfashionable for the rest of time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Charlie Chaplin pulled it off for a while, but uh, but that was before. That was <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about? That's like 1920s. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway... That's the first part of the level. Now you are on to the outside part. And this shit gets wild. W. Wild on. W. Wild on E. Wild on E. Heart of the Reich. You gotta That's put an X like. after wild. Just for extreme. <laughs> the X stands for extreme. In Hawks, <laughs> high action, wingman, extreme. <laughs> so they're gonna give you a little speech, and then there's gonna be a whistle that blows, and they go charging out. And you're going to sit back like the smart Russian that you are. Um, the learned philosopher, Dostoevsky. Mm. And wait for them to kind of push forward. Run up to this car and then run up to the right and then just kind of spray everybody that you see with your PPSH. Your PP. Spray everybody with your PP. Oh, ho, ho. S-H-I-T. Haters want to hate. Love is one of love. No idea what the hell that is. R. Kelly? No. I just want to piss on you. Oh. <laughs> drip, drip, drip. <laughs> oh, R. So, after you clear out the guys that are on the, uh, the turrets, directly, like, right in front of you, you're going to shoot a couple of guys on the 88... That's on the closest 88 to you. And after they're all dead, you're going to run up to it, hold the X, pla uh, place the charge, and then blow that one up. Now you get a checkpoint after um, the first two and the second two 88s that you destroy. So just keep that in mind that if you're close to getting that second one, and you're in kind of a shitty position. It can be, it's, it can be worth it to just kind of go balls out, throw it on there, and uh, just go for that checkpoint. Just throw some D's. Throw some D's on that bitch. So there is a Panzer Shrek leaning against the tank to the left. Do not use that yet. You want to save that for the second half. I, I could not get that Panzer Shrek to blow up any of the 88s. Just by hitting it, of any one of the first two, uh, the very last one, which I think is the hardest one to blow up, I could kill from a distance with the uh, rocket launcher. So save it for later on. And there's two rocket launchers on this part of the level, but just save both of them in case you miss. It's worth it. Is it one shot? It's one shot. There's one bullet per rocket launcher. One oh, rocket okay. round. One rocket round. One, one rocket man. So this is another practice session for firing, crouching, reloading, uncrouching, or standing up I guess would be a better <laughs> word for uncrouching. Just take your uh, Halo skills of teabagging and... Uh, yeah, pr <laughs> pretend you're teabagging. <laughs> Crouch up and down, up and down. Because teabagging is... Hilarious. So infuriating. <laughs> if you get teabagged. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. just like a slap in the face. You no, know, like, what I really liked about... What I really like about Call of Duty compared to most multiplayer games, and it just gets frustrating when I play all other multiplayer games now, is that they have the kill cam that shows you what they were doing a couple seconds before you got killed. Mm -hmm. You like this or don't like this? I love the kill cam. It's so great. Um, especially if you're really good... You can teabag them before you kill them, so then that they see that on the kill cam. So when they see the kill cam, that's like seven and a half seconds of nothing but teabagging them while they're still alive and like sniping. 
and then you stab them. <laughs> That's the most infuriating thing. <laughs> oh man. So anyway, that was the second eighty-eight. Um, I just kind of sprinted over there, planted the charge, and ran back, and now we're on to the last half of the level. 